What is up awesome people and welcome back to another Pokemon trading card game online card opening series. So in the last episode we'd opened up uh, some of the theme decks that I had laying around in my collection and we also opened up a few of the Plasma Storm cards. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out why I couldn't see my Plasma Storm uh, collection then derp I made a derpy mistake. But yeah um Nothing really important happened in the last episode, just went through a few theme decks. And that moves us on to this episode, where this episode, I'm actually going to be focused on Furious Fist. Um, very, very briefly, I will admit that. Um, I don't have too much for Furious Fist at the moment, because I haven't actually opened up my um, physical uh, booster boxes for Furious Fist. So at this point in time, I've only got the two theme decks for Furious Fist. And 10 of the Furious Fist booster packs. So once I've done them, I might move on to either Flash Fire or move on to a lot of the old booster packs that I've still got. So XY and Plasma Storm, which is going back to 5th gen. My goodness! I don't even want to look at Legendary Treasures. I've got so many cards to open up for that one. Alright, so we'll start with this Sivion deck, which is the en Enchanted Echo. So I don't have any of these cards, so sweet. This is actually can go towards the Furious Fist collection. So we have three Bell Sprouts, just knock them off. Two Clefairies. We got four Eevees, which I will admit will be quite handy in this expansion, which is Energy Evolution. When you attach a basic energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon that is the same type as the energy card that you put onto this Pokemon. This counts as evolving this Pokemon, shuffle your deck afterwards. So obviously, you cannot uh, play this ability when you first put Eevee onto the field. Due to the you cannot evolve on the first turn of placement rule that you um, abide, abide by, and nor which is 10 damage to energy cards of any type. So that is actually a pretty good card that can work in almost any uh, type deck. So I, there are a few EVs in this expansion, so you can always find somewhere working with it. Uh, we have two Noibats, we have two Shelmets, we have two Shroomish, we have. Uh, we have two Slaykos, we have a Tornadus, which is only by one, we have a Xalga by two, we have Clefable by two, a Lithion by two, so you can always play Grass Energy and evolve your Eevee into Lithion, which has Soothing Scent, uh, 30 damage puts your opponent's active Pokemon to sleep, only requires one Grass Energy, and Magical Leaf, base 50 damage, requires one Grass Energy and 200 cards of any type, Flip a Coin, if Hedge's attack does 30 more damage and heals your Pokemon. For 30 um, damage, which was pretty cool, so you can deal um, any damage in total and heal 30 to Leafeon as well, so that is pretty cool if you can flip ahead, so my bad luck, I probably never get that happening. So of course we also got the um, Sivion by 2, 1 holo rare and 1 just normal rare. Our uh, first move is Curly Ribbon, 30 damage requires 1 Fairy Energy card, move an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon to one of his or her bench Pokemon, so that's Almost as good as removing it, it does move it about so they can't use it. Um, as long as you're making sure you put it to a Pokemon that can't u really utilize the energy card, I almost suppose you can put it to a basic Pokemon uh, that cannot evolve. That'd be the best way to do it. That would render that card completely useless if they're already at the max energy cards. And um, that'd be one way of utilizing it. Um, its last move is also Echoed Voice, 50 damage, requires one fairy energy card and two energy cards of any type. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Echoed Voice attack does 50 more damage, increasing it to 100 damage uh, before applying Weakness and Resistance as well. Alright, so you got two of those. As I said, one Hollow Rare, one Normal Rare. Uh, you also got Vigoroth by two. I didn't even click the View button. Uh, we got Weeping Bell by two. Victory Bell by one. Now, this was actually a pretty good card as well, thanks to its ability, Wafting Scent. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard a Grass Energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. So that might work in with the uh, Verbank City Gym card, if that is still legal, of course. Um, this can be played from your bench as well, thanks to it being ability, which is awesome. So you can uh, pull a surprising move there as well. Spiral Drain, 60 damage, requires 1 Grass Energy and 2 Energy cards of any type. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, so sweet. And plus that incredible 130 health as well. I know there's a lot better cards with health like that, but if you've got something like Giant Cape on this Pokemon, uh, increases to 150 health, so that would help there as well. Um, we have Battle Reporter by 2. Uh, that is Energy Search uh, by 2, I think. Yep. 
Uh, then we have Maintenance. Shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck. If you can't shuffle two cards into your deck, you can't play this card, then draw a card. So that is a great way of... Uh, kind of just, I suppose, it is almost as what it says, Maintenance. Um, just to kind of almost refresh your cards, uh, your hand. So if you've got two cards that you cannot play at the time, you can actually throw them back into the deck and draw one card, hope it's a card that you can use, of course, and just a chance to shuffle your deck as well. It's one of the new cards that came up with the Furious Fist expansion, and I will admit that is a pretty decent card. It may be used in metagame, I'm not too sure, but I know I could probably use that in a few decks. Uh, we've got two potions, uh, we've got two professor's letters, two roller skates, fairy energy and grass energy, and of course, the Mega Lucario, Silver Sparkle, Black Coin, which is pretty cool in real life as well. And of course, the other expansion, what, uh, sorry, not expansion, the theme deck, the counterpart deck was Dark Hammer, which is the Pangoro theme deck. And in this one, I'm going to start with two Hitmon Lays. We have a Landorus, which is the only one from that deck. Uh, we have Lickitung, no one didn't want to view it. Machop, come on, by three. Uh, Makahit, seriously, Makahita by two, Minfu by two. I'm not even pressing the view button, by the way. Um, we have Panchan by four. Scraggy by two, uh, Meloetta, no, Hariyama by one, sorry, Licky Licky by two, Machoke by two, uh, that is Minchow by two, come on, I'm not even clicking the view button, Pangoro by two, one of them is of course a holo rare and one is a normal rare, uh, that is actually an alright card, Clobber, which is base 30 damage, one dark, one normal energy card needed. You may discard an item card from your hand if you do this attack with 40 more damage. I'm not a big fan of discarding my item cards, so unless it's a useless item card that I don't need, I probably would, but otherwise I wouldn't. Hammer on, 80 damage, requires one dark energy and two energy cards of any type. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Now this would work really well in a fire deck. If you want to discard a fire energy, bring it back with... I'm going to get this one right. Fairy Torch or Blacksmith, one of the two. But you can always make a red and brown deck. That would work pretty well, actually. I know brown and uh, red. A black and red deck. That would work. You can use, like, Houndoom uh, Hound and all that in it, too. Uh, we got Scrafty by two. We got Made Champ by two, which is actually a really good card. I think I mentioned this was an awesome card. It worked very similar to how Altaria worked back in Dragon's Exalted Expansion. Each of your fighting Pokemon's attack do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying Witness and Resistance. And Mage Champ Crash, which requires, it does 80 damage, requires 3 fighting energy card. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from your defending Pokemon, uh, from the defending Pokemon, is reduced by 40. Damn, that's a big drop as well. That's a lot. Um, we also have Energy Search. We have Eversoda. We have Karina by two. Karina is search your deck for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So that is pretty good for getting cards out pretty quickly. Uh, Pokemon Center Lady, Professor Sakemore, Professor's Letter, Roller Skates, Dark and Fighting Energy cards, plus the Mega Lucario Blue Double Rainbow Black Coin. I don't know how that's a double rainbow, to be honest, but it still looks pretty cool in real life. All the coins look really cool. All right, so let's end this episode up by opening up the booster pack. So I have not got any... Oh! Damn! That's a really good pull for a first booster pack, to be honest. It's almost like my real life openings there. Woo! Got excited. Uh, we got Clauncha, we have Golette, we have Heracross EX. Damn! Full art as well. 170 health, it's a grass card. Its first move is grass, a uh, guard press, 40 damage, requires one grass energy and one energy card of any type. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. And Giga Power, which has a base 80 damage, requires two grass energy and one energy card of any type. You may do 40 more damage if you do. This Pokemon does 20 to itself as well. Can work in very well with the non recall thing as well, but um, you gotta. I think you can still apply that as long as you have the item card, you can actually cancel that out. That'd be pretty cool if you could. Machoke, we have Pikachu, uh, we have Trap Inch, we have Machoke, we have Scrafty, we have... Fighting Stadium. The attack of each fighting Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents, do 20 more damage to the defending, po uh, defending Pokemon EX before applying Weakness and Resistance. And the last one is Sail Fossil. Look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. You may reveal an Amora. You find there, put it onto your bench, shuffle your cards back into your deck. That was a sweet first booster. Alright, so next booster we have 
Drowsy, we have Electabuzz, we have Hitmonchan, Noibat, Scraggy, Shulman, we have Gothitelle making a return to expansion. So, its ability is Teleport Room. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a Stadium card in play. If you do, put a Stadium card with a different name from your discard pile into play. Ooh, that can be a nasty one if someone discards your Stadium card. You can just bring it back and be like, Sup, I'm playing mine again and there's nothing you can do about it. And Psy Report, 60 damage requires one Psychic Energy and 200 cards of any type. Your opponent reveals his or her hand. Nice. I like, I like, I like. You can always um, make strategies around them too. Uh, we have Amora, Amora by two. One would be a reverse holo and one would not. I can't figure out which one is because it's not telling me. And what is this little gem? We have a special energy card. Herbal energy. This, this card can only be attached to grass Pokemon. This card provides grass energy only while this card is attached to a grass Pokemon. When you attach this card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, a grass Pokemon, heals 30 damage from that Pokemon. If this card is attached to anything other than the grass Pokemon, discard this card. Ooh, now I can see with the whole switching energy cards could come in handy for that Sivion. Awesome. Um, that can be used against Mega Heracross, in my honest opinion. Um, a few other grass cards like that, they'd be very, very handy. Alright, we got a lot of new cards here. We have Clauncher again, Golet, we have Gothita. We have, who are you? Hit him on top. We have, who are you? Oh, it's Clef Key. Um, ability, secret key. It's your fairy Pokemon resistance is now negative 40. Ouch. That's high. That's double. Ouch. Um, in fairy lock, 30 damage requires one fairy energy, one normal energy. The defending Pokemon cannot retreat during your opponent's next turn. Ouch. Um, we have Minfu. We have, uh, that Scruppy. Uh, we have Hariyama again. That's Focus Sash. Awesome. If the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to has full HP and would be knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, the Pokemon is not knocked out and its remaining health becomes 10 instead, then discard this card. Very similar to how it works in the games. And this is a Reverse Holo too, which is awesome. So damn, nice they incorporate that into the trading card game too. And Tool Retriever, choose up two Pokemon cards attached to your Pokemon and put them into your hands. So... Uh, if the cards don't work anymore, you bring them back. Okay, so moving on, we have a lot more new cards. We have Clefairy, we have another Clefairy alternative art, we have Landorus, who is Reverse Hollow, we have Machop, we have Pat Rat, we have Torchic, we have Clefable, Pangoro, we have Watchhog, who would be an uncommon card, and Fossil Researcher, who is a new card. Okay, from there we can get Chubchu, we get Gothita, we get Jinx. Victory Kiss, once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may heal 10 damage from your active Pokemon. Nice. And Hug, 30 damage. I didn't think a Hug would do damage. Um, psychic Energy and 2 Energy cards of any type required. The Fang Pokemon cannot retreat during your opponent's next turn. Ooh, that Seduction. Uh, Magma, uh, we have Slake Off, we have another Slake Off. Trap Inch, what are you? Sparkling Robe. This Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon this card is attached to cannot be affected by special conditions. Remove any special conditions affecting that Pokemon. Awesome. Good counter to Victory Bell. Uh, we have a Training Center. Each Stage 1 and Stage 2 Pokemon in play, both yours and the opponents, gets plus 30 health. And we have another Herbal Energy card. Moving on, we have Bellsprout, Jinx. We have Minum. We have Pancham, Scarapi, Torchic. That would be Combusken. Uh, we have Golurk, which is the Verse Hollow, Licky Licky, and Tyrant is the last card. So moving on, we have oh nice, we have an EX card. We have Golurk, Licky Tongue. We have Lucario EX. It has three moves. What is this? I have never seen a card with three moves before. This is awesome. Uh, 180 health. Its first move is Missile Jab. 30 damage requires one Fighting Energy card. This attack damage isn't affected by resistance. Second move is uh, requires two Fighting Energy cards, does 60 damage. Corkscrew Smash, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand, which is awesome. And Somersault Kick, which does a massive 100 damage, requires three Fighting Energy cards and has no effect. And that's pretty sweet. I like that. Uh, Noibat, we have Machop as well if I didn't say that one. Scruppy Amora, Battle Reporter. What is this one? Mountain Ring, prevents all damage done to bench Pokemon by attacks both yours and your opponents, which is pretty cool. And that's Reverse Alert as well, and Sparkling Robe. Three left. Uh, we have Chubchu, Drowsy, Gothita, Magchope, Plus Soul. I didn't mean to view that one. 
uh, Gotha Reader, Hariyama, Weeping Girl, Fossil Researcher, and Sal Fossil. Second last one, we have Electabuzz, Machop, Makahita, Noibat, Pikachu, Who Are You? Bertig. Oh my goodness, that looks so badass. Oh, that's so cool. I like that one. Uh, we have Tyrant, Normal, and oh, no, sorry, Reverse Hollow, Fossil Researcher. This would be Jaw Fossil, so look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. You may find uh, you may reveal Tyrant. You find there and put it into your bench, shuffle your cards into your deck otherwise. And Karina is the last card, and the final booster pack is going to give us a lot of new cards. Bellsprout, Minum, Pat Rat, Scraggy, Shroomus, Combuskin. Uh, you are Electifier. Ooh la la, I like it, lucky. A lot of the battle, uh, the card arts for these one are pretty cool. Um, Electifier is pretty good. Uh, we have Noiburn, so I don't actually have this one in real life, so this one has Echo Location is its ability. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attack, slip a coin if heads prevent the da damage. Nice. And Boom Burst, this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, don't apply weakness and resistance for both bench Pokemon. That is pretty good card. Uh, quite a Psychic, Dark, and Energy Energy card of any type for that one. Uh, we have Vibraba as well. And Training Center. Right. So, um... That's it for this episode. So they were actually the only Furious Fist cards I have at this point in time until I open up my booster boxes, which should be sometime soon that I open up them. So next episode, we'll open up the Flashfire booster packs, start getting on the way with them, see if we can get anywhere close to completing the Flashfire expansion. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for taking the time of the day to check out this video. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my previous card openings, both digital and physical. And if you like what you see, make sure to stick around for future episodes. So as always, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!